YouTube, YouTube, Chris Ricciano's comics and pop culture. I'm sure all you guys are tired of this mess in the background whenever you're watching my videos. I know I'm tired of it, but I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this room up and at them, but it's hard. <laughs> all right, guys. So a couple things today. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? First things first, I'm adding one book. I know it's just one book, but it's a book. It's a cool book to uh, my prize uh, for my 500 sub contest. So I got a, a few awesome entries this week. Thank you so much to you guys who uh, did some entries. Um, if you have not yet done a video, please do so. You still have some time. Um, I'll put the link again to my contest video below this video. But I'm throwing in Wonder Woman uh, 203, a beautiful J.G. Jones cover. I just love his art. And Batman being in this issue with Wonder Woman is just a beautiful cover. I don't think the issue itself is of any extreme significance. But as someone who can admire the art and enjoys this artist, I thought it would be fun to throw in. So, let's take this book and throw it down here. Uh, with the stack of prize books and remember for those or for those who don't know yet the main prize I cannot show because it's going to be specific to the individual that that wins all right so guys I want to show you a little minor key that I that I picked up oh man I should have rebagged and boarded this it's got like tape all over it I wanted it to look pretty but <laughs> uh, we got what if number 58 of volume two what if the Punisher had killed Spider-Man? Cover swipe, obviously, of 129. It makes it Spider-Man. First appearance of Punisher. Um, I don't have that book, so I bought this one. <laughs> I mean, what do I have? I have the Marvel Masterpiece uh, reprint of 129. I have this. I have the Mary Jane variant. I forget exactly. I believe it was a Punisher issue that came out last year. Um, where it's Mary Jane, um, that's a cover swipe. So if I could get a cover swipe of this cover, uh, I'll get it. There's another one. There's an, oh, I believe it's the Marvel Tales that is the, uh, another reprint because Marvel Tales did the reprints of The Amazing Spider-Man. So I still want to get my hands on that one. And obviously it's an iconic cover, just like, you know, a, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300 and whatnot. But the reason why I like it as well is because I've some of you have might have heard me say this before. I love covers that have either some sort of really plain background going on. So right here we have a yellow background and then something going on in a circle and then something popping out of the circle. So nothing's really popping out of the circle this time, but Punisher is obviously outside and we have the circle with Spider-Man in it. I don't know what it is, but I just, I love and I've said this before, books with any kind of frame or a border or circles. So, like I said, I don't like it just because it's an iconic cover. I like it because of the layout. So, uh, yeah, really cool pickup for me. I'm glad to have this. This isn't a book that I've seen a lot in, um, you know, LCSs. So, awesome to grab that. Let me show a few other things what I got. So, I got these on um, Midtown. Um, and I ordered them in advance to get my, I believe it was 35% off. So I got Amazing Spider-Man 798, the 30th anniversary variant with Mary J uh, Venom, 30th anniversary Venom variant. Obviously it's a, a McFarlane swipe and just love the symbiote in the background. And I got this for 35% off the cover price. So as a collector, I handled mine. <laughs> Going back to my other video about people complaining about issues not being available. Not only that, I got the Ramos connecting cover variant of $7.98 for 35% off the cover price. <laughs> and then I got in the mail my subscription that I get from Marvel.com. I pay like, what, $28 a year, which is like, what, 40 off the cover price of my 7 dollars regular cover. 
And, you know, my male person was good today and did not bend it. And I know that a lot of people are turned off by male subscriptions because of the condition that they can arrive in. This one's not not too bad. There, I don't know if you could see them, but there's a couple little dings right there and right there. And then you could probably see that, see that corner. But other than that, it, it's... It, didn't get any any damage sometimes they're all bent up and they're folded and i just get so upset and i complain so many times to my uh, post office about saying guys my mailbox is big enough don't fold it don't bend it it says do not bend but i wish marvel would put at least something that is as strong as at least a backing because what they put in is like it's like a piece of paper it's not even is is um, sturdy is, is a comic backing. So if they did that, these comics would be in a little better condition when they arrived. So, um, I also got Batman 44. I love these again, these Brando variants of Green Lanterns, and I'm not too familiar with uh, Brando is as an artist, but I love his variant work that he's been doing on the Green Lanterns run. This is such a sweet cover. And some more J.G. Jones. He's doing the variants on Justice League. Just freaking beautiful, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Of course, I'm loving all the True Believer stuff that they got coming out for a buck. I mean, come on now. And then I'm going to show you guys I went to boys of summer my local shop in in vacaville california that i'm always shouting out and if you guys are ever around uh the bay area go check them out some 50 cent finds i'll just throw go through these to let you know what you can find in the 50 cent bin at boys of summer red hood and outlaws red hood and outlaws red hood and outlaws red hood and outlaws look at all that 50 cents each that's a cool cover uh just league of america some Batman Beyond. Nothing wrong with these. Some more Justice League of America. Books are in perfect condition. Justice League number 30. Variant for Royals number 9. Miss Marvel 25. Deathstroke 28. Deathstroke 29. Nice cover. Uh, variant cover for... Um, Super Sun's 14, and then here's the regular cover. 50 cents each for all those. Amazing. Right, guys? Okay. All right, guys. I believe that does it. That is all I have this time around. Again, thank you to everyone that's entered a video so far. Um, and like I said, what is it? It's, it's mid-April about now. So you got uh, about two, two and a half more weeks to submit something. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing a lot more from you guys. Again, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Get back to me. And I will say, I want this to have fun. Uh, don't, stretch your guy, don't stretch yourself out over making a video. Have fun with it. And I'll accept whatever you guys do. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.